guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you are about to see here. so much for spending some time with me by watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you are enjoying the videos I've been doing and how I am separating them into categories. So I just finished filming and uploading my regular paycheck number two for June, and that is available if you're interested in watching. But I'm also filming separately my cash envelopes and then again separately my sinking funds. The reason why I'm doing that is in an interest of saving time, but also um, to make maybe segment a bit in order to appeal to different viewers who have different interests. So some people are more interested in the paycheck side of things, just the income itself. Some people are interested in how um, others organize their variable expenses into their cash envelopes. And some people are interested in the savings end of things, which um, falls into like maybe more of a sinking funds category. So and that is that. Um, I also wanted to mention, I mentioned this in my paycheck video, I have a new planner here that my mom picked up for me at Target. She saw me eyeing it and she was very nice to um, put it in her basket. Um, but I'm going to lift the tripod just a bit. My desk is a complete mess right now. But this is by Sugar Paper and I decided to get this because it's a monthly academic planner and I have just finished up um, earlier my plans for YouTube videos for the month of July. So I'm really excited about this. Now with this, I'm kind of in a groove of where I know what kind of videos I want to do on certain days of the week. So I think that's going to be really helpful to keep to keep myself organized. Um, one video that I am going to be doing in July, and I hope that it is received well, is I'm going to be doing a weekly planner flip, and I'm going to be showing you my planner, how I use it, what kind of um, things that I track in it uh, every week after the pen. So I think that will be the most interesting way to do it for you guys, um, rather than just seeing how I set it up, but not actually how I use it. I, I like to watch after the pen videos. I just think that they're super interesting. And I think it's just kind of like that, innate thing that we all have in us to kind of be nosy and like to see like how other people do things like the same thing goes for like a what's in my bag video you know it's so interesting to see what everybody's carrying in their purse even though it may be the exact same stuff you have in your purse there's really nothing fascinating about like a mini pack of tissues and hand sanitizer on its own but if you see somebody like removing it from their purse it all of a sudden becomes fascinating so um I think it's just human nature. So I'm going to flip to first the month of June. Um, and as you guys can see, um, in case you didn't catch my videos about my income, um, this is the 19th. So today was my payday. This is my second payday in the month of June and my final payday for my regular job. Um, I have something crossed out here and I went into that more depth in my paycheck video. So if you guys are interested in the... Um, the kind of, I don't know, more detailed explanation about why I'm at fifteen sixteen again and why that's going to change in the month of July and all that fun stuff that's out there. I also did a separate video for my side income pay. So as you can see, this is what I brought in and I kind of go over that and talk about that more at length. So this is the current week that we are in and I am using a happy planner a big happy planner. I always want to say happy planner big, but a big happy planner, same thing. Um, I'm using this. It's like the watercolor one from 2018, 2019. I want to say 2018. I don't know why, but it has these really beautiful dividers. I kind of talk about this in all my videos when I do them um, because I do get questions about it. It's just so pretty and um, it was an extra planner that I had purchased last year. I didn't really have a purpose for it. I just loved it. And what I did was go ahead and put a tool notebook cover on top of it. And unfortunately the notebook cover is expired or <laughs> expired. It's also expired, but it's also discontinued. All right, so today we're going to be talking about cash envelopes. And then after that, I am going to do a separate video and I'm going to talk to you guys about my sinking funds and kind of what my goals are. I'm gonna be setting up another video to talk to you guys about how I'm going to be setting um, kind of like master goals for my savings and things like that. All right, sorry about that, my phone rang. So I was just talking about how I was going to be doing a video about setting goals for my savings. And my savings right now are kind of categorized into 
separate sinking funds and I have four of those. So I'll go into more depth with that in that video. But for today, we're going to be talking about cash envelopes. And I'm only using four and I just think it keeps it nice and streamlined for myself. It keeps things easier. Um, and then to get more into the nitty gritty of things, I use post-its for my miscellaneous envelope. That way it just keeps things nice and straight for me. Um, but my main envelopes are groceries, dog food, and actually I probably, if I wanted to be super um, condensed about stuff, I probably could incorporate the dog food into the groceries um, because usually I pick up the dog food when I'm out grocery shopping, but I just kind of keep it separate for some reason, but I guess I could change that at some point. So these are the four categories that I am focusing on. Now, the amount of money that I have for my cash envelopes is coming from um, a couple different sources, a few different sources, actually. So um, I have $740 remaining from my side income after I took money out for the taxes. So because I do Grubhub and Instacart, they do not take out taxes. You have to do that yourself. And um, that's something that I have been working on for the past couple of weeks. And I have my tax envelope right here. So that is um, already stuffed with up-to-date money here. And that will be going to the IRS next year, so 2021. So I have $740 to work with. And then I also have, let me see, $360 left over from my paycheck. And I have $170 from my nephew. So I think that's correct. So let's just make sure. I have all my envelopes here that I'm going to be working on. So I'm, I don't know if that's right. Hold on. All right. So I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 50 is 530. All right. So I have 530. So let's see. Let me write down 1270. Okay, so minus 530 equals 740. And I think that's what I have in this envelope. So let's just make sure. Put this aside. 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 5, 550, 6, 650, 7, 720, 730, 735, and 740. So, yep, minus 740. Brings me down to zero based. I love that. I love that, guys. So, I'm going to separate the money into denominations. And this money has come from three different sources. So, the first source is what's left over after taxes from Grubhub and Instacart. The second source is left over from my paycheck after I pay my bills. And the third source is my nephew's um, bi-weekly rent money. Usually he gives us $175, but this time it was $170 um, just because he didn't have the $5 bill, which is not a big deal. So here are the denominations, and I'm going to start stuffing the cash envelopes now. So um, let's see. How can I do this? I think I just need to move the cash up, and I need to move this back so I can write on it. So I'm going to put this up here. And try to be organized in some fashion. All right, so the cash envelopes that I'm going to focus on, I'm gonna push this up and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm writing, um, are going to be, like I said, groceries. Well, I'm pushing that right off my desk. How about I just do this? Okay. <laughs> All right. So for groceries, I'm going to be putting $100 and that's very typical. And I talked about this in my last video, you know, what do I do with um, anything left over from grocery money? And lately I've just been kind of keeping it in my purse and using it like if I drive through and get an iced tea um, or, you know, for, for whatever. So I'm going to put $100 into the grocery envelope. And then I'm also going to 
put a post-it on that because I think it's good to keep track of what I started with and that'll give me an idea of what I end up with, if anything. Sometimes I don't have enough. Sometimes I have to, you know, take it from somewhere else. So groceries are stuffed. All right, so we've got 100 there. All right, so the next one is going to be my gas envelope. And I'm using every penny of that as well because um, doing deliveries, it gets, you know, you, you use a lot of gas, you use a lot of miles. And that's why, given our current situation, um, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> no. No, it's not dog 60, it's gas 60. Um, given our current situation, being that we have leased cars, um, for one thing, it's expensive um, for the gas. For, for another thing, we're putting miles on that we didn't necessarily account for when we leased our cars. And we've always had a history of giving back our cars or turning them in with miles left over. We've never had an overage or paid a penalty. You know, we've always kind of planned for it really well. But since doing deliveries, I'm putting so many miles on. So if this becomes like a long-term thing, I'm not sure if it would pay for us to actually invest in an inexpensive used car. I, I don't know what to do because I don't necessarily want to give up the income until I have to. But at the same time, I don't want to be paying massive penalties um, because I went over so much on my miles. So um, it's just something to really think about and I can't wait too long to think about it. Um, I'm still not sure what's going to happen with my husband's job, if he's going to move, if he's going to stay. I, I really don't know. There's so much still up in the air. And somebody did ask me, did he ever get his unemployment? He didn't. Um, and this has been since the first week of April. So at this point, um, I'm thinking that there's like a massive glitch in the system. And I am just disgusted about it because every time he gets online to kind of deal with it, um, you know, it, it's impossible to get answers online. And there is a phone number, I guess. And um, you either wait a long time or it ends up hanging up and disconnecting you. So he knows of at least one other person that's in the same situation. So I'm not sure what he's going to do or how this is going to be rectified. But um, something's got to give because that's just not right. It's just not right. Um, it's no fault of his own, you know, that um, he's laid off right now and it's just not right that that's happening so i'm just really really disgusted with the whole thing frustrated you know when you can't talk to somebody you can't get answers it's just it's maddening all right so i had 50 dollars in here last time for my haircut and as you can see i still have 50 dollars. the person who cuts my hair um, her father passed away, so she had to cancel the appointment. I don't want to go get it done somewhere else because I feel like that wouldn't be very nice. And I don't just want to be like, oh, okay, you know what, forget it. I'll just go somewhere else because, I don't know. It's, it's I just don't feel like it's the right thing to do. So I'm going to wait. So I still have the money in here for that. So I'm going to do a new post-it um, because I have some other miscellaneous things that I need to account for so one is going to be the haircut so I'm going to leave that 50 in there and then the second one I'm just going to put yard we have um this patch of rocks and dirt in our backyard and finally John and my nephew um they shoveled all the rocks out of there they're like decorative rocks but there used to be shrubs there when we moved in here and we removed the shrubs because they died and um we just never removed the rocks and it's behind the garage but you can see it from our deck. So it needs to be cleaned up and redone. So they shoveled all the um, all the rocks out of there and evened out the dirt. So we have to buy a couple boxwood shrubs and they're really not expensive. Um, John knows where to get them like really inexpensive. I don't know if he has a friend who's a landscaper or something, um, but it's the same place he got the ones we had for the front of our yard. So this is going to cover it as well as um, any extra dirt that we might need but in the future we're probably going to have to put money aside for mulch back there um if we decide to do that or i don't know if he'll put the rocks back i i'm not sure but anyways so we need a hundred dollars for this for whatever we need for the yard right now and then um if we need more i'll come back to it next week so um i'm gonna put clothes here i want to get a couple new shirts 
in I'm not going to buy anything expensive because it's almost July and I don't want to spend a lot of money on like short sleeve stuff and everything, but I am going back to work on July 7th. So I'm going back to the office and I just felt like I needed a couple new things and this isn't going to get much. I'm probably just going to end up, you know, buying stuff at Target where I can get a little bit more for my money. Um, but I'm just going to put $100 aside. Um, at the same time, I'm going to put $50 aside for Target um, because we need just a couple things like... You know how you just need sometimes trash bags and soap and laundry detergent and things like that. So we just need a couple items. I'm just going to put $50 aside. So I'm going to put total here and I'm going to add all this up. So um, a lot more miscellaneous than what I've had um, recently. So 50 plus 100 plus 100 plus 50 is $300. So I'm going to put 250 in here because I already have 50 to begin with. And that will be that. So 100, 200, 250, and three. All right, so I've got my 300 in here and I don't know when I'm actually even going to get to Target. I'm hoping tomorrow morning. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Time is just at such a premium. And I talked about that in my last video. I feel awful that I don't personally haven't been answering comments and things like that lately. It's just, I have been so, um, stretched thinly for time and things like that. And I don't know, it's just awful, but I am reading everybody's comments and I do appreciate all your feedback. I actually, I just love it. So that is my miscellaneous. So I'm going to put here, um, I'm actually just going to put 50 plus 250 because I want it, um, to be kind of notated that I already had 50 in there. And then for gas, I'm going to put 60 and then for dog food, I'm going to put 25. All right. So I'm going to highlight all my numbers because I just like to do that. And these are the cutest highlighters and I just love using them. Um, I have these linked below if you guys are interested. They're just like these little mini ones and they're in pastel colors. Um, the pink, it looks like an orange sorbet. It's just too cute. So I should have let the pen dry a little bit more, but that's okay. All right. And then I didn't highlight down here, but I have all my money put aside now for my July bills. And I like paying them on July 1, but I can actually start paying a couple of them now if I wanted to because I have all the money put aside. So, yeah. Um, no, put $1,500, then I put $1,150. Um, yeah, so I wanted to... Um, get that all taken care of so I can pay things as they come due. And some some of them I can prepay, but some of them I kind of have to wait a little bit closer to the due date. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, here is my cash envelope system. So I've got 60 for gas, 100 for groceries, 25 for dog food, dog's food. <laughs> well, we have three pugs, so I guess that's what I meant by that. And then 300 for haircut, the yard, clothing, and Target. So that is everything. And I am ready to go with my sinking funds in my next video. So everything that I have left over is going to be designated toward that, um, toward that initiative or effort. And I need to really start focusing on, you know, goals and things like that for my sinking funds because I am saving and I'm categorizing my savings, but I really need to get some kind of process in order where I'm... I have strong goals that I work toward. So I have all my cash ready for that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because that really helps my channel. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, um, please leave them down below. I will get back to everybody eventually. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you stuck around and did so. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.